Let's open in prayer together this morning. Who is like you, God Most High, drawing near to those who are low and in need to raise them up? We thank you that you have not left us alone, but that in your son Jesus, you came to be with us as one of us. We thank you that you have not left us, oh, sorry. You thank you if you've not left, left us alone. May we sense you near, even though now, through your spirit, may we take heart in our darkest and most faith fearful times. Trusting that you abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel, and by your grace, may others know, through what we do, that God is with them. Amen. I'm going to invite Teresa and John up this morning to light our Advent candle for us. The third week of Advent, we remember the gift of joy we have in Christ. We remember the joy that Mary felt when the angel Gabriel told her that a special child would be born to her, a child who would save and deliver all people. Joy is the gift we all receive from the unconditional love Christ has for us. God wants us all to have joy. The angel who announced to the shepherds that Jesus had been born to them told them, Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. As we light this candle, we remember that Christ came to bring true and everlasting joy to all people. As we light this candle, we are reminded that Christ came to save all people. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the joy you bring us. Help us prepare our hearts for the Lord's coming by helping us see that Christ came for every person we meet wherever we go. We ask this in the name of the one born in Bethlehem, Jesus our Lord. Amen.
How many kings? This song is a reminder of the lengths God went to us for you for, and for me by stepping down from his throne. This song could easily be listened to any time of the year, um, not just Christmas. But Jesus came as a baby, and he was a king. How many people in high places in this world have stepped down from their position for you, for me? Jesus paid it all just for you so that we could be saved.
expensive gift and we just can't afford it and uh, it really doesn't matter what you bring to Jesus it's, it's just as long as you bring it with a loving heart and uh, it can be just your talent or just a few coins like the woman who only gave two copper coins as long as you give what you have it's enough so be giving and do it with a happy heart
Little Drummer is always a favorite up here. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the phrase, God rest you merry, means may God grant you peace and happiness. God rest you merry, gentle middle, and not that you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born upon this day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, this blessed angel king. And unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star and royal, beauty bright. A westward leading still, proceeding guide us 
Blessed I her big night. about um, coming and uh, come and see what God has done in so many Christmas songs we are called to come. Um, oh come, let us adore him. Oh come, oh come, Emmanuel. Um, have you ever noticed that? In order for to us to follow God, we must come. The coming is not a one-time action. In order for us to fully grasp the magnitude of God and his amazing love, it needs to be part of your life, not just for Sundays or designated times of Bible study or prayer Christmas and Easter, but it needs to come to God. You need to come to God in all moments of your day.
fields nearby, watching over their flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. No band back on the drums and, and some vocals. And this is Rhonda Truby on the bass guitar. And my daughter, Carly, while back over here on various percussion and, and vocal. And this is Neve Johnson, who's going to dance for you on this song. And uh, my name is Laurel Laubach. And we also thank Terry for running the sound and the lights. And, and Thanks, Truby. And, and, and Scott for giving us words. <laughs> thank you. This is Light of the World. Oh, oh, oh. 
is all about? Sure, Harley, I will tell you. And there were the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And though the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel of a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and all in on earth peace and goodwill towards men. That's what Christmas is all about.
Just begun. 